senior at Lincoln High School. You go! And my poem is untitled. When it comes to the real things, it's hard to find the right words. So I've typed and deleted this Facebook post many times. I'm trying to come out, but at the same time, I don't want to be seen. It's scary. The blue post button starts to make me shake, and my pride almost follows through, but it falls out of my pinkies instead of my thumb. I should be honest. I should say, the truth is, most of you will not love me once you know me. I should say, the blood me and you share does not ensure your support, and I know that. And I know you will have more pride in your homophobic nonsense than in me. You shouldn't scare me, but you do. I should upload a photo of the rainbow base I inherited from my great aunt Anne. Its lines fragile but fierce. I'll let it become a symbol of the piece of me you cannot come to love. And it will serve as a reminder of how you all shun your love you will be. I can waste my time and try to make them see. I'd show them that love has no boundaries, that real love is always forgiving, but who I am shouldn't require an apology. I should tell you what I know. I know there is no changing the hatred that runs so deep in you. It's made its roots and has started to rot from the inside. I know I'll never understand how you can bear that stench you've created. I know you've told me you'll always love me, but I know your own ignorance will not let you do so. I should just post on my timeline a few hashtags. Maybe I'll post a video of me doing charades. It's probably not the best way to tell you, but it'll never be easy to find the right words when it comes to this sort of thing. Right now, I can't bring myself to press that blue button. I don't know if I ever will. So maybe I won't open Facebook or send a text. I won't call them and tell. I'll keep hiding. I will be proud in secret. For some reason, being me means losing you, and I'm not ready to watch you go yet.